Hey, Beverly. Well, I'm so excited for you to be able to host me today. My name is Wendy. I'm with uh, Princess Cruises as the, the business development manager and so happy to be here to support you. Do you want to take a couple minutes and just uh, tell everybody just a little bit about you and the industry and who you are? Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. So if you're watching this live, hopefully you know me. I'm Beverly Brown with Chesapeake Travel, and I'm an independent contractor with Travel Leaders right here in Southern Maryland, serving the community for over 40 years. Very excited to be a part of the team at Travel Leaders and um, very excited to have all of the tools and resources that we have to offer you, our clients, and of course, my friends and family i um, so excited to bring a special curated cruise that is part of the Princess Cruise Line package and specially cur curated for travel leaders with our distinctive voyage product. And mm -hmm. what I'm excited to share with you is that I will actually be hosting this trip next summer um, in, in late June into early July that we're going to do an amazing land and sea cruise. So truly the best way to see Alaska. And one of the reasons I have chosen Princess Cruises um, to be my partner in this is because no one has done Alaska longer. And Wendy's gonna tell you more about that. No one does Alaska better than Princess Cruises. And honestly, who doesn't wanna be on the love boat? It's the <laughs> most special way to cruise and cruise in Alaska. And with that, I just want to thank you, Wendy, and introduce you to, you know, my friends and viewers. And, you know, thank you for all that you do for us. We just spent an amazing week last week during National Tourism Week, National Travel yes. Appreciation Day. Yay! <laughs> really pulled out all the stops and provided lots of training and information and updates on the state of cruising, what we have to look forward to. Mm -hmm. And I am pleased to say that this is the first time that Princess and Travel Leaders have come together to offer us a distinctive voyage cruise. And what that means to you is this is something that you're not going to be able to get by calling Princess Cruises. You're not going to be able to get it with any other agent that's not part of the Travel Leaders Network. It is specific to us. It's special. We're going to have some really cool, fun things that we're going to be able to do during this trip. Um, and so that's just kind of a sneak peek. So with that, I'm going to introduce Wendy Prater to you. She's my Princess Cruises business development and support manager. She's the lady behind the scenes that keeps us updated and make sure that everything goes well for us. And whenever I have any questions, issues, or problems, she's always there by my side. So Wendy, take it away. Thank you. Well, yes, and we love to support our travel advisors. It does make so much sense, especially in this time of age, to utilize a travel advisor. And one of the things that I always like to share is that you're not paying any more to use a travel advisor. It makes so much sense because, of course, they're your uh, available resource of information with all the levels of um, you know, knowledge that they have about the product. So we specifically work and partner with them. And, you know, of course, they've got great insiders like myself to really mitigate any issues should there any be the, any that arise. So super excited that you're here to join us. Um, for those of you who have um, you know, not known anything specifically about Princess, I just want to start off with the fact that we've been in the industry um, for quite a, a bit of time, and we're known as the destination leader in so many different destinations, not just Alaska, but really around the globe. And, you know, this really has a lot to do with how we're really bringing to life so many immersive experiences worldwide. So we actually visit over 380 destinations, 100 different countries, we visit seven different continents, but you're always going to see that common thread that really you're looking for as a traveler. We help you travel like a local. And you know we're all about being able to blend those innovative um, culinary experiences, again, not only from ship to shore, uh, but you know, you're really being able to have those cultural touch points, those really immersive experiences, and you're getting them all at an unbeatable value value with the dining, the activities, and the entertainment with a lot of opportunity for relaxing and rejuvenating. And we're going to talk a little bit about really the game changer of 
technology and what that looks like which with our medallion class as we return to service. So super excited to be able to share with you that our focus this evening is on Alaska. Now, it's no secret that we're number one cruise line in Alaska because we've been that for, uh, been going to this destination for the last 50 years. We bring a lot of enthusiasm specifically about this area because of course it is gorgeous it is on everyone's bucket list um, and we have so many different ways of which it is that you can see and experience Alaska um, so it's not only just by cruise but we also do land packages as well so I thought that uh, you know of course this evening we'd share just a little bit about those options and I want to really highlight that Alaska is all about um, really not having a specific age it's really age appropriate for any age uh, because because there really is something for everyone. And the beauty that draws people to Alaska, they return over and over again. But before I get started, I just want to obviously address maybe some initial concerns that you may have as it relates to the current standards and what's happening with specifically returning to cruising. And as we're obviously working with um, so many of the different health professionals and um, of course the local stakeholders around the globe, you know, we want to make sure that you feel ultimately that your health and safety is our first priority. So you're going to see a lot of these different enhanced protocols in place to make certain that you're feeling safe, not only with the different sanitation that's taking place on board, but also, of course, your guest experiences, as well as our medical facilities and different screenings that we're doing, um, not only prior to trip, but also on trip as well. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about what this program is all about. We instituted this a, a while back. It's called our Cruise with Confidence program. So many of you may be feeling that you're not really Really sure exactly what you want to do when you're making your plans for your next cruise. Cruise, I want to tell you that there's a lot of flexibility and worry-free opportunities going on right now. Um, you know, of course, we've got this book with confidence, um, you know, to empower you to know that there's freedom and flexibility, um, that should you decide to deposit and change your mind, that of course, that we'll be able to have that flexibility for you to change your plans should you want to do that. And then obviously, our Princess Promise, um, this is something too, that we want to be able to have the opportunity to make it right. So when you do get on board, should something not suit you uh, and how you expect it to be, we are empowering our crew to be able to make it right, right there and then. And, and if we can't make it right, then we'll actually refund to you that amount of service. Um, so, and then we also do always encourage travel insurance. Princess does have our own, it's Princess Vacation Protection, and that has new enhanced uh, insurance levels. And it's the same price point regardless this of the age and or um, the length of your cruise. So that's really encouraging as well. All of that information you can also get from Beverly. Um, you know, again, she's going to be your princess expert. Uh, I know earlier I had mentioned about the Princess Medallion class, and I just want to tell you that we've been really taking um, this opportunity throughout this time of pause to really invest in making certain that our ships are going to be really efficient and provide that excellent um, guest personalized experience that you are looking for. So we have the most amazing technology at sea. And what that looks like is that this medallion is something that is a game changer. Uh, we uh, have had this technology for the last couple of years, but we really have stepped up our game um, and utilized this time to enhance a lot of some of our services. So if it is that you've traveled with Princess, you may be familiar with this, but along with your documents, you'll get this medallion. It's in the shape of a, of a half dollar size. It's very lightweight. Um, you get a free lanyard when it is that you become ocean ready, but this affords you such a great opportunity of convenience. So not only is a allowing you to board the ship faster, but you also are allowed uh, a, a lot of different um, truly touchless points of whether it's you know, entry into your stateroom, or if you're making purchases in the store, um, maybe you're looking to navigate the ship and find your uh, travelers that you're traveling with. Uh, of course, if you're looking to travel, um, you know, uh, you know, you want to be able to make sure that you've got the Wi-Fi and stay connected with home. So it's got the best Wi-Fi at sea. Or maybe you want to check out the casino, but you don't want to be in the casino. Uh, you can actually play in the casino poolside. So uh, the one 
one of my favorite features about this medallion is that it gives you access to whatever you need, whenever you need, delivered to wherever you are on the ship. And so this little piece of medallion, it connects with your smart device, whether it be tablet or phone, and it really does um, make things so much easier. So if you're getting comfy, uh, watching movies under the stars, and you want to be able to order a cocktail or a little bit of a snack, you can do that pull side using your device, and they'll be able to locate you on the ship and deliver that to you. So it's really a fantastic um, piece of technology. So we've actually taken this opportunity to step up and enhance some of our features. So we talked a little bit about the touchless payment. So let's say for instance, you've forgotten that sundry item. Maybe you've forgotten your suntan uh, lotion and or sunscreen. You can actually order it from your smart device and they'll deliver it to you wherever it is that you're on ship. Um, you know, when it comes to embarkation, we are going to be offering touchless and staggered embarkation. So gone is the day where it is that you are meeting in large groups to be able to board the ship. Um, we're actually even going to be operating the safety drills and the protocols at the convenience of you, the traveler. So, you know, as you board onto the ship, instead of meeting for the in the muster stations, for those safety drills, you'll be able to access that same safety drill poolside or in your stateroom. You can, you know, uh, of course, watch that through your touchscreen TV in your stateroom and or on your smart device. And all you have to do is check into your muster station uh, with your medallion. You know, so we're going to make it so easy and so personalized. You've got, of course, different health questionnaires that you may be asked along the way to just see how you're feeling. Um, and of course, we've stepped up our medical staff again to address any issues that might be uh, that might arise, but we don't anticipate that. And when it comes to real time visibility into the venue capacity, this is going to be a really a great feature because let's say, for instance, you want to be able to um, go to a specific bar on the ship, but it's going to be able to let you know exactly how busy is that bar. And then that can let you know whether or not you want to go to that bar or maybe another bar located elsewhere on the ship. So again, it's real time visibility into the venue capacity. Now, this past week, we just announced the coolest opportunity for Dine My Way. So gone is the day of traditional style dining um, where we only have two seating. So now you're going to be able to dine when you want, where you want, with who you, whom you want, whenever you want. And um, it's fantastic because, again, this is all accessible. As you see on her smartphone, you can access this as an app on your smart uh, smartphone and or device, uh, you know, and also through the portholes and or the TV to set up your dining reservations, not only for just the day, but also for the week. And they're incredibly flexible. So if you, you know, want to set up and let's say, for instance, you're having so much fun or you decided to take an afternoon nap and now you want to bump back your dining or you want to move it up. Maybe your plans have changed. We're going to do our best to accommodate you. So it's going to give you such incredible flexibility to really craft your own experience when it comes to dining. So that's a newest announcement for us. Now, why Alaska? Let's talk about this destination. You know, most individuals are drawn to this destination because of these three categories. The glaciers are just magnificent, the mountains as well as the wildlife. So you're going to see, you know, when we feature something such as this, you're going to see such incredible national parks. You've got some opportunities to experience some really great seafood as well as um, not only experienced by cruise, but also by rail, as well as by land. And you've got some options for cruising um, the passage for inside and also round trip. So we're going to talk a little bit about those options because sometimes Alaska can be overwhelming. So you're not really sure exactly where to begin. But I will tell you, when you're thinking about Alaska, we really hope that you're considering Princess because of our nature of our relationships uh, in Alaska, as well as what we offer with our lodges. So let's get started. Now, it's no secret that we were voted number one cruise line in Alaska for over 19 years straight, um, not only by Travel Advisor, but of course by our guests. And again, it has to do a lot with our partnerships and really how we deliver those immersive experiences. 
So, you know, when we talk a little bit about some of the highlights, the fact that we've been going to this destination for over 50 years, we call it the great land of Alaska, because you're visiting these areas where it feels like it's been just pristine, untouched, and just the most amazing views you'll ever, ever have in your mind, um, as well as in your camera. So, you know, if you take one picture, you'll take a thousand pictures of the same thing because you just can't get over the beauty. Uh, and then, of course, we've got some really great top rated cruises as well as in depth cruise tours. So, we're offering everything from soup to nuts when it comes to your Alaska experience. And the medallion class experience just enhances that. When we talk about our award-winning programs, we partner with popular um, you know, associations like Di Discovery and Animal Planet, um, as well as even Bon Appetit. So we really work with a lot of these um, partners to really make certain that we're giving you different excursions that are really going to be curated for that ultimate Alaska experience. And this is a destination, like I said before, that it's really for every age group. And so as we go through, some of the different experiences. I mean, I'm certain that you've probably heard of Deadliest Catch. Um, you know, they've got a, a really great excursion that they do. We even do Puppies in the Piazza. Um, it's just so much fun, you know, where you're really hearing a lot about the special um, speakers and really a lot of the National Park Guides as well while it is that you're on trip. So, how to visit Alaska with Princess. So you've got a lot of different options. I always like to break it down in three categories. You've got your Sea Alaska, which is good. You're gonna see some of Alaska by doing the round trip cruise with the inside passage. If you're looking to see more of Alaska, this would be your one-way cruises, your voyage of the glaciers, and if you really want to see all of Alaska, this is going to be your cruise tour. So you're really going to see it not only by cruise, but by train, as well as by land uh, with experiencing the lodges that we own there right in Alaska. So we're going to break it down real easy. I'm going to give you some great visuals. Of course, if you've got notes, uh, a paper and pad and pen, you want to take some notes, you're welcome to do that. But can I, you know, really pride ourselves on working with partners that are knowledgeable like our travel advisors and Beverly is just um, excellent. So she'll be able to guide you on all of this. A lot of it really comes down to how much time do you have to travel when you're thinking about Alaska? And the inside passage, it is an option. It's a round trip option of uh, sailing um, to and from either Seattle, Vancouver, San Fran or LA. You do have some glacier viewing experiences and you do get to visit the Southeast Ports of Call. It's a, um, the, the length of the cruise is anywhere from about seven to 14 days. So if you're following the blue line, you're going to see that this is one that's going out of Seattle. It touches port in Victoria and then it heads up through the inside passage up to Ketchikan. Then you pass by Enincott Arm and you stop in Juneau and then another stop in Skagway and then you return through the Pacific Ocean back to Seattle. So again, that's seeing some of Alaska, right? Okay. So now if you're thinking about that you really want to see a little bit more, I always recommend by all means, if you've got the extra time, you really want to do at least at the minimum, the voyage of the glaciers. So the voyage of the glaciers, it's seven days between Vancouver and Whittier, uh, or what we also call Anchorage. With this particular opportunity, you have two guaranteed glacier viewing experiences. You're always guaranteed to see Glacier Bay National Park, as well as either Hubbard Glacier or College Fjord. So the, the, the reason why there's an or situation there because ultimately it depends on whether you're going northbound or southbound uh, to determine that second viewing of that glacier. So you're getting to see a little bit more of the inside passage. You're actually gonna be cruising in the Gulf of Alaska and you're gonna be visiting again, still the same Southeast ports of call. So just to do a side-by-side -side comparison, right? So we did the blue line, that was the round trip to Seattle. So now we're going out of Vancouver and you're gonna look at the red line. So now you're gonna follow that up. You're gonna see that it still stops by everything it is at the inside passage 
uh, stops at with Ketchaway, Ketchikan, Juno, and Skagway. But then now you're going to see how it goes further in. And you're actually going into Glacier Bay National Park. You're gonna, again, depending on if you're going northbound, you're gonna stop at College Fjord. And before it is that you end in Whittier, or if you're going southbound, then you're going to go, you know, again to Hubbard Glacier and then Glacier Bay National Park. So great opportunity. You get to see and experience so much more um, on this particular itinerary. Now, we are known for our North to Alaska program because, again, we're all about bringing the local tastes, the cultures, and the experts on board. Again, ship to shore. We want to give you that immersive experience. Um, those crab legs are making me hungry for sure. Um, but, you know, we really um, pride ourselves and really featuring a lot of the artisans that are in that area. And uh, I'm certain that Beverly, you probably even have your own experience to share about the puppies in the piazza. This is a fantastic experience where, you know, we always like to be able to feature different experts that come on board and talk a little bit about Alaska. And, um, you know, we do this feature where they bring the sled dogs in and the puppies and you get to interact with them, but they're also able to share with you a little bit about the training and of course the preparation for the Iditarod, which is um, so fun. So of course, who doesn't love, uh, you know, a puppy face? So um, and I have to say you when do you anything? I have to say when I did our cruise in 2017 and I saw those beautiful little puppies <laughs> in the Grand Piazza on the ship, I got in line and I got the picture and I bought the picture. Yeah, yeah, I because you not. just that face, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we even do feature, um, of course, Libby Riddles is probably one of the featured experts. I don't know if it is that you got the opportunity to listen to her, Beverly, when you went to Alaska, but she was the first uh, woman to win the Iditarod. And I think she was only at the age of 19 uh, when she won it. So it's a fantastic journey that she talks about and everyone is just in awe. Uh, you can hear a pin drop. Uh, it is that just captivating of a story. So, you know, it's just a lot of fun. We do some really cool programs, like I said. Ultimately, when you get to go um, into the land segment, you know, the key is about experiencing the wildlife. You do get to experience some of it, of course, if you're doing, you know, the inside passage um, and, or, you know, if should they be in one of the ports of call and or the voyage of the glaciers, but really where you get to experience this big five is going to be on the cruise tour. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, of course, you know, the moose, the doll sheep, the bear, you know, the caribou, the fox, they're all the key um, wildlife check boxes that everybody wants to see when they go there. And there's just so many fun activities. So when you do a cruise tour, you have that much more time to be able to explore, not only by, of course, um, you know, water, but also too by air. So it's a really fun uh, destination. So let's just talk a little bit about cruise tours and what that looks like. So what that does is it combines the cruise, the train, as well as our lodge. Um, with an Alaska cruise tour, you've got a cruise, you're, you know, seven days, three ports, and you're going into Glacier Bay. Now, everybody always asks me a question at this point. They say, Wendy, what is the best side of the ship to be on when it comes to um, sailing to Alaska? And I say there's never a bad seat in the house, you know, right? So, I mean, if you want to have that additional viewing opportunity, I always recommend a balcony. But keep in mind, something that I want to call out in this particular photo is that any time that you're cruising in Glacier Bay, um, now I will tell you they only allow three ships into Glacier Bay every day and we are always guaranteed to be one of them. So, you know, going to Alaska and not seeing Glacier Bay would be like going to uh, Paris and not seeing of course, that beautiful Eiffel Tower. Um, so I think that, um, 
you know, when it comes to the location on the ship, there really is um, not a bad seat in the house because of course you can choose to be on whatever deck that you wanna be or actually in your balcony, uh, on your, uh, in your stateroom, on your balcony. And they rotate the ship 360 degrees. So everybody is gonna be able to have the same viewing privileges. So, um, so that's a little bit about the cruise. Then you're actually, um, Oh, and of course, we talked a little bit about with the Alaska Cruise Tour, you're getting that opportunity for the second glacier viewing. Then you've got the train. So this is actually taking you right into the heart of Alaska. You're seeing it from a different perspective, and you're actually arriving uh, in to Denali on the same day. So it's just absolutely fantastic because it really makes the most of your day. And then the every cruise tour visits the Denali National Park. So we have five lodges that we own and operate in Alaska. So our exclusive direct to the wilderness, it is that easy. Do you see the ship that pictured there in the center and the obviously the rail. So you're getting off of the ship, you're walking across over and to uh, the train, you're leaving your luggage behind, it's all tagged and ready to go. And then you're entering this open air glass domed uh, train and you're arriving into Denali on the same day. Now, as part of the train experience, they've got great individuals on that to be able to share with, you know, you what it is that you're seeing, of course, light refreshments and drinks. So, you know, it just really makes for a very pleasant experience. And of course, the scenery is fantastic. So we've got five princess lodges that I like to always share about. So I'm going to dig into each of one, each one of these, so that this way you know a little bit more about those. So we've got the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge. So again, just giving you a, a, a visual, uh, the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge is located to the right, and actually I should say the north um, east, and uh, then you've got the uh, the Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge that's located south, but they're both in close proximity to Denali National Park, which is absolutely fantastic. Then you, um, you know, you can see where, you know, obviously the proximity is to everything, but Denali is really what is the biggest attraction. So when we talk about Denali Princess, it is probably one of our largest, most popular properties. Um, you know, you're really away from the hustle and bustle of all of the other lodges in the area. And the beautiful part about this particular property is that it's only one mile from the entrance of the National Park. And of course, the views are absolutely stunning because of course it overlooks the river. So you've got great opportunity for day adventures, whether it be by foot or um, by water. And then at the evening, in the evening, you can gather around the fire pit and share stories. And then of course, they've got restaurants on property that you can also enjoy. So now we're going to talk about Mount McKinley Princess Wilderness Lodge. Again, you see it pictured there. This is our second most property, uh, most popular property. Um, you know, this is actually on the south side of the National Park. Um, it is more remote than what you would see from Denali. Um, again, incredible views, um, as well as overlooking the river. You've got, again, some fireside scenes. You've got, of course, um, some flight seeing options that you can also take advantage of. Um, when it comes to this, most of you may be familiar with Treehouse Masters. Uh, of course, they went and built specifically for this lodge uh, its own treehouse. So you have great viewing privileges. Uh, and again, you know, great opportunities to be able to learn from those that used to, uh, of course, visit once upon a time and explore. Uh, so lots of different special speakers that you have the opportunity to be able to listen to. Now the next wilderness lodge I wanna talk about is uh, this one that's located here, it's Kenai. Uh, again, this is gonna be a smaller um, boutique year property. I, I like to call it boutique because it's just so cozy and quaint. Um, it is only 86 rooms, but it is the highest scoring Princess Lodge. It really just has more of a romantic, picturesque type of setting because it's so cozy. And if you've got that individual that really enjoys fishing, this is a great property to check out. Uh, you know, lots of different um, opportunities 
opportunities to do that in the nearby area. Uh, great, again, views, um, again, very remote and picturesque. So that's where it's situated. And of course, it's also situated by the Kenai Fjords National Park. So you can see that property uh, location there. Our fourth property is the Copper River Princess Lodge. Uh, which I, you know, again, is a stunning property. Again, very boutique, uh, very small, only 85 rooms. It is situated near Wrangell St. Elias National Park. Um, but again, a lot of great fishing opportunities, some water activities that you can take advantage of to be able to explore in a different manner, whether it's white water rafting and or exploring by air. Those are all different options. Maybe you just wanna take a nice little hike. So lots of great, um, again, activities for the whole family. And then we have Fairbanks. So um, this is uh, our fifth property. Um, again, you know, just something for you to be able to check out. Not every itinerary offers Fairbanks. So um, should you choose one, it'll be a special stay. So I will tell you that there's a special departure that is going out and we're going to have Beverly talk specifically about the dates at the very end, but we partner with travel leaders and we're proud to be a partner with them. We are featuring a distinctive voyage for the 11 night Alaska cruise tour. It's 33 S don't mind that you don't have to worry about memorizing all that. So how this works is it's a seven, seven day southbound cruise. So if it's going southbound, you know, again, you're going to be seeing the Glacier Bay National Park. Plus, of course, you're going to be witnessing the Hubbard Glacier. So um, lots of different opportunities to um, be able to explore. But on this particular one, you're doing a direct to the wilderness, uh, one night in Mount McKinley Lodge, two nights in Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge, and then one night in Anchorage. Now here's what makes it so unique is because we're offering additional amenities that are exclusive just to travel leaders and as part of this distinctive voyage that you see there. So it'll include some breakfasts and some additional experience. Uh, experiences and the Tundra Wilderness Tour is probably one of the favored experiences because of the fact that it does go further into the wilderness, giving you those opportunities to see the big five. So one of the newest things that we just added, which is my ultimate favorite is the Husky Homestead Sled Dog Tour. So if you're going to Alaska, this is key for being able to experience it as far as, um, you know, of course, how they raise the puppies, how they train the puppies, hearing the stories. You're going to be able to meet the puppies, but you're also going to be able to get a behind the scenes look and really be able to talk with a champion musher um, and be able to visit the kennels. So this is, again, an exclusive with uh, travel leaders and, you know, again, we partner with Animal Planet to be able to deliver this exclusive opportunity for you. So when it comes to Alaska, everyone always wants to know when is the best time to go and what do I pack? So we operate in Alaska May through September. You're going to see there are varying temperatures throughout the winter of time. Um, if it is that you're looking for more of a, a value season, um, you know, that would be your May and September. And keep in mind that sometimes, especially for September, you might even be able to witness the northern lights. You know, when it comes to wildlife, you know, coming out of hibernation and or maybe fishing opportunity, you know, your June, your July, your August, that's always going to give you additional daylight, um, peak, you know, to opportunities to be able to see all of that wildlife that you're looking to experience. And, you know, again, families always choose to go June, July, and August because, of course, everyone's off of school and it just makes so much sense. So. If you have not seen the Northern Lights, uh, of course, we can't guarantee them, but September is a wonderful window of time to be able to explore those, and they are pretty fantastic. So I do want to share with you a little bit about some particular specials that we're offering. We have a program called Princess Plus. Now, this is available to all guests, all staterooms. Ultimately, everybody is looking for incredible value when they go away on vacation. They don't want to feel that they're being nickel and dimed, and they want to make certain that they're experiencing meaningful travel, um, especially with their loved ones. So with this particular opportunity, we felt it best to be able to offer something that is a little bit more inclusive. So, 
this particular Princess Plus includes, you know, your premium beverage package, including the service charges, your Wi-Fi, as well as the crew incentive paid on the guest behalf. So what you'll see here is this is laid out. It's our best value ever. It includes these great perks. And even if it is that you're, you know, not someone who drinks alcohol, we offer such incredible non-alcoholic beverages like your waters, your smoothies, your energy drinks, your specialty coffees. Um, you know, we do feature with Rob Floyd. Um, he, they always feature some really fantastic non-alcoholic beverages as well. Um, but, you know, of course, keep in mind Wi-Fi as well as it also includes that daily crew incentive. Um, you know, so we have a way of rewarding them, uh, you know, for the outstanding service that they're providing to you. So you're getting all of this for only $40 a day. We also have another limited time offer. This is all wonderful thing to take advantage of because it's combinable. So if you're thinking about booking, you can go ahead and book now. The sale runs from May 12th to June 30th. It actually allows for $50 onboard spending money um, that you can use for shore excursions or specialty dining or even for the spa. It's combinable not only with our Princess Plus, but also our Princess Savers. And if you have up to four in the stateroom, that would be up to 200 on board spending money. And if it is that you've been, um, been active or uh, retired or disabled veteran and have served in our military, I wanna say thank you for your service. We really value that uh, at Princess and we wanna just make certain that you understand that we wanna reward you as well. So we automatically uh, will give you a $250 onboard credit. Um, again, this is available on any cruise at any time and it is completely combinable with the other offers that we just talked. So I know when it comes to planning Alaska, there's so much to think about and um, obviously do. Uh, a lot of people don't realize how big Alaska is. Um, and you know, the, the, the key to happiness is anticipating that next holiday trip. So that to me is what's so fun about planning and anticipating um, booking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over to Beverly so she can talk to you a little bit about these specific um, dates for the distinctive voyage to Alaska. Alaska. Again, that's that 33S that we talked about. It's got a nice um, opportunity for you to experience not only the cruise, but the exclusive rail as well as the lodges. So Beverly, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you so much, Wendy, for that introduction and overview to Alaska for everyone watching and those that are going to watch the replay because I think a lot of times we just don't understand how much there actually is to see and do in Alaska. Um, and so for what I'm promoting for next summer is we are going to be doing the Alaska land cruise tour. So we are going to start in Anchorage and make our way down through uh, Mount McKinley, Denali National Park, end in Whittier on our land portion, hop on board the ship and do the seven day southbound sailing through um, uh, Glacier Bay. And we'll also see um, Hubbard Glacier and Glacier Bay National Park. And then we'll make our way to Skagway, Juneau, Ketchikan, and then we will disembark in Vancouver in Canada. So I'm very excited about this because uh, many of you know that I got to go and cruise Alaska in uh, the summer of 2017. And for those of you that have talked to me about that, there was a little hiccup. And if you don't know, feel free to ask me, I'll tell you about it. Uh, it'll be a lifetime movie someday. And that's how I'll leave it. Um, but, you know, we missed a little, a, a huge portion of that cruise. So that's why, you know, I want to go back. And not only do I want to go back, but I want to share it with friends, with colleagues, with you know anyone who that would love to go see this amazing part of our country. And we're going to do it next summer, July, uh, June 25th to July 6th. What I'm super excited about is that June 21st is the summer solstice. And if you've not been to Alaska and experienced
Anchorage summertime, we will have to we will arrive in Anchorage on June. So I'm not certain. I'm thinking Beverly may have had a bad connection. I see that she froze. So I'm certain that she's in the process of signing off and then signing back on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the chat feature. So if you all have any questions, I'm happy to go through and answer those questions for you about Princess uh, with Alaska. Again, lots of opportunity here. It's a beautiful destination. It's going to be an incredible demand for not only 22, but also also 23. So, and, you know, again, uh, the fact that we are uh, currently the only uh, ships at sea with this medallion program, I think it's just is going to speak to the level of customer service that we're providing to you as our guests and being able to deliver to you, um, you know, that again, that excellent um, ability to be able to uh, dine your way, as well as being able to, again, be surrounded with incredible culture, festivities, and fun, as well as immersive experiences. So um, thank you. I, I think I'm back. Can you hear me? Oh, Liz? yay. She's back. Okay. Yay. So I'm doing a little plug in. Yeah, no, I totally appreciate that. So we've had some challenges. That connection. Okay. Yeah, we've had challenges with the internet. Okay. Um, so and I see there's a question. This. Is Beverly's trip the shorter one or the longer one? So Lisa, we are doing the land and sea. So it's four nights on land, seven nights at sea. And it's yeah. a, it's a whole package trip. Um, and it is going to exclude include the exclusive amenities from the distinctive voyage program that travel leaders and princess cruises has partnered to provide us, which is going to be just amazing. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm super excited to be able to bring this to you guys and have the opportunity to showcase Alaska and come along with you for the ride. So not only will you be able to go, but you'll be able to go with me. Yeah, absolutely. So fun. And I just love all of the exclusives, you know, again, you know, because of our partnership, uh, you know, it just is something that you don't necessarily will not find um, at just any particular agency. It's only specifically with our travel leaders uh, network. And so, again, that um, Husky sled dog experience to me is so worth it uh, and just a great value as a, a great additional amenity. Uh, because, again, when you go to Alaska, you want to be able to have an understanding of their traditions traditions, uh, you know, such as the Iditarod. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think I'm going to, can we stop? You might have to stop share at this point. Sure. Sure. And then that way we can chat. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So the exciting part, like, like you said, is the exclusivity of the added amenities that we'll have with the travel leaders distinctive voyage program. And so we will have the um, the home, homestead with the dog sled camp. Uh, mm -hmm. When we get on board, we'll have a private cocktail party. We'll also have an exclusive shore excursion throughout the course of our cruise at our three ports of call. So there's a lot of extras that are gonna be added into this that you're not gonna be able to find or get from any other cruise line or any other agency outside of a travel leaders uh, agency. And bonus feature, yeah, I was awesome. your distinctive voyage host. So Very I nice. grew up watching the love boat and I remember Julie, the cruise director, and I was always so fond of her and of here course. I am going to be like a big girl and I'm going to be Julie, your cruise director. 
That's right. I know. Who didn't want to be Julie, right? right? Lisa said, she's like, yes, I wanted to be Julie. I know. It was such a fun show. It and, was. You know, and, and part of the reason I pick Princess Cruises for Alaska in particular is because of their longstanding um, presence in the destination, mm -hmm. their connections, their partnerships between Discovery Channel, the bringing the destination on board. You had mentioned um, Libby from the uh, the first female I did a rod. She actually was oh, on yes. my cruise, and it oh, was good. So, okay. it was so awesome. great to like hear her speak and talk to us. And then there was even an, a naturalist that was brought yeah. on board the ship. So when we were doing the scenic cruising portion, she was able to narrate and tell us about the culture, the things that we were seeing, the communities. And so it was just so, so much more than a regular cruise because of the connections and the way Princess tries to um, bond you to the destination. And honestly, I wouldn't be going back if I didn't like it the first time. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes, you know, you think that you will be able to get back there, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, oftentimes there's so many different destinations that we want to make our way to. Um, and we don't just don't have enough time. I say that, um, you know, I haven't been everyone everywhere yet, but it's definitely on my list. Right. So, you know, if you're thinking that you're going to go to this destination, really encourage you to explore. Uh, if not the voyage of the glaciers for sure the you know the cruise tour so um, you know the lodges are just such a game changer because you're really getting the best of both worlds you're really getting to mix and mingle um, and you know some of some of the smaller ports of call they have more shore so you have more time to be able to explore but you're really getting to see a lot of the wildlife that maybe you would have missed um, you know, for the land segment, if you only did the inside passage and or the voyage of the glaciers. So just something to consider. And, you know, um, Beverly, I know I'm probably putting you on the spot, but I was just wondering about that cruise sale. Is there maybe something that you want to add about that? Yes. So it's what's amazing is that our cruise pricing is locked in. Mm -hmm. So you can deposit with me at any time. Um, there will be a cruise sale coming up, I believe, May 26th for two weeks, and that, that offers reduced deposits. So definitely reach out to me on that because Travel Leaders, again, with that partnership with Princess Cruises, is doing a uh, two-week cruise sale where we can lock you into this trip, do a reduced deposit, get all your added bonuses. Of course, Princess Plus is something that I'll be taking advantage of because everyone that knows me pretty well much knows that I need a beverage package. Yeah. Well, and also too, there's no risk, right? So let's just talk about the cruise with confidence policy. That is the reason why we put that in place so that if it is that you do, you are feeling apprehensive, you're not really sure exactly if you want to go, you can make that determination, you can make that deposit. And at that point, should you decide to change your mind, um, you know, in you know, anything it is that you paid would be refunded in the form of future cruise credits um, if it is that you were at a point of penalty, you know, for canceling. So you're not risking anything. And like I said, this is going to be a destination that's in demand for both 2022 as well as 2023. So if you have specifics and you really wanna make certain that you've got that balcony or maybe that mini suite um, to be able to enjoy, maybe you wanna check out club level service. You know, there's a lot of great opportunities if it is that you go and you start to book early. So that's the key in all of this. So yeah. Absolutely. And fortunately, Travel Leaders has already locked in the space for us. So we, we, we have space available, it's price locked in. Um, but again, as Wendy says, the sooner you put down that deposit, you know, you lock in that cabin of choice. And Wendy, I wanna thank you for mentioning about the um, military service and mm -hmm. the uh, amenity that folks will get if they are active duty or retired military. I know where, where we are in Southern Maryland, we have um, a very active Navy base, and we have a huge military community 
um, throughout the Baltimore, Washington region. And so anyone that's watching this, just let you know that Princess Cruises does salute your service and you will be awarded um, some extra amenities as a thank you. And also we thank you as well for your service. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for attending and taking opportunity to view. You know, we're super excited to be able to deliver this destination to you in such a special and unique way. And Princess really does go above and beyond to personalize your experience in Alaska with delivering over 50 years. It's uh, hand down number one, uh, you know, vote for both travel advisors as well as our guests and this destination because of our experiences and our partnerships. And we have crew that is so excited about welcoming you, whether it be your first time or whether it be your 23rd time traveling with us. We're super excited about welcoming you back and experiencing Princess um, in Alaska. Absolutely. And Wendy, thank you so much for taking your time out this evening to share with us all of the amazing things about not only Alaska, but Princess Cruise Lines. And of course, that medallion and that medallion class, that is going to be a game changer in the cruising mm -hmm. industry. And I'm very excited that we'll be able to experience that firsthand next summer. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and then, so take advantage of that limited time offer, call Beverly, get some more questions answered. You've got some time to be able to um, go ahead and secure those. That limited time offer is running uh, for the additional $50 of onboard credit. So that is just additional layer of additional layer of additional layer of savings for you. So, Absolutely. Again. Thanks so much, Wendy. You have a great evening and Absolutely. Um, I'm sure I'll see you somewhere soon. Absolutely. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Have a great evening.